details now on the Egypt air crash. The ranking Democrat on the U.S. House Intelligence Committee reports evidence does not yet exist to confirm whether terrorism was involved, whether it was structural failure, or whether it was something else that caused the plane to go down. We want to show you the final moments that investigators are able to document here. It had been cruising at a normal altitude in Greek airspace over the eastern Mediterranean around 2 o'clock in the morning local time when something catastrophic happened. Greek radar saw a series of violent maneuvers. The plane began to turn violently to the left around 90 degrees, and then it swung through a tight 360 degree circle to the right, all while plummeting down to 15,000 feet. And then at 10,000 feet, radar lost the plane. Let's go to Elliot Rodriguez now, who has more from the control room. Elliot. Well, Rick, we are learning more about the final erratic moments of Egypt Air Flight 804 and the stops it made before taking off on its doomed flight from Paris. Tonight, an international search effort is underway, but so far there's no sign of the jetliner or its 66 passengers and crew members. Crews are searching the Mediterranean between Egypt and Greece for the wreckage of Egypt Air Flight 804. This is the actual plane taking off from Brussels last year. 66 people were on board as it headed from Paris to Cairo and vanished from radar. At the Cairo airport, family members of the passengers and crew members were huddled into a room where they were given the grim news. I want to know where my son is and what the government is doing, this man said. His country's aviation minister suspects terrorism. Most likely, but again, uh, it is not a statement on behalf of the Egyptian government. It is what I think. What happened to this airplane, the way it came down, uh, tells me uh, something catastrophic happened with it. In the past day, the plane had flown to Eritrea, to Tunisia, and then to Paris. Experts say an explosive could have been loaded on the plane in any of those places. The investigators are going to be looking at all of the stops that this aircraft made prior to coming to Paris. A U.S. Navy plane from Sicily is part of the search effort. A military base in Crete is being used as a staging area to launch more search missions in the Mediterranean. The plane's manifest shows that 30 of the passengers on Flight 804 were Egyptian, 15 French, the rest from various countries around the world. The manifest shows no Americans on board the flight. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News tonight. Thank you, Elliot.